chapter 12 verse 16 John chapter 12 verse 16 <clears throat> these things understood not his disciples at the first but when Jesus was glorified then remember they that these things were written of him and that they had done these things unto him they didn't understand at first but when Jesus was glorified after his resurrection, then they understood. John 12, 28. John chapter 12, verse 28. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify again. I have glorified incarnation and will glorify again resurrection. Are we still in the building? So I will glorify again in, in among the Jews. When you say again, it means newness. Except a man be born again. Again, there is new. Born again. Born anew. I have glorified my name. I will glorify it anew. I will glorify it anew. <clears throat> I will glorify it anew. Look at John 12, 30. Please pay attention. John chapter 12, verse 30. Then answered, I mean Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me but for your sakes but for your sakes <clears throat> next verse 31 and 32 now is the judgment of this world now shall the prince of this world be cast out next verse and i if i be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me the word lifted there means death we said that yesterday and, and you know i was perusing through facebook and i saw one of the person who followed the teaching last night he must have been a music minister in some church somewhere where they were busy killing jesus higher killing jesus higher so he now wrote on a comment that i just you know glanced at he said okay papa so if we want to say lift not in the sense of kill how do we say it <laughs> lift not in the sense first of all you can't even lift him. You and Jesus, who should lift you? <laughs> you can't even lift him. <laughs> you are thinking of your village head. You can't lift Jesus. He's been lifted. The Father has exalted him. There's no exaltation higher than what the Father has done in Christ. No exaltation higher than where Jesus occupies now. He's the regency on high. He's the regent on high. There's no exaltation. So you can't lift him up. He's not down. You can't raise him up. He's not on the ground. You can't carry him up. So how do you exalt him? You exalt him by acknowledging the glory of his work. You sing songs that acknowledge the glory of his work. The glory of the new creation. The glory that came for redemption. The glory that brought justification. The glory that brought, you know, oneness with God. The glory that brought union with the Father. You sing songs that celebrate the outcome of his work. Not to be lifting him or crowning him. Well, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown. Which crown are you going to use? Cloth crown or gold crown? All of them don't have, they don't stand a chance because they are perishable. They are, they are corruptible stuff. Even if you use a diamond crown, it's, it's perishable. It is nothing to, it has no, it does not stand a chance to compare to the glory of Jesus seated at the right hand of majesty. Glory to God. He's been exalted. He's been lifted. He's been magnified. It's done, done, done. So what do we do? We acknowledge what came out of that work. That is what glorifies him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, so we're looking at that same scripture. Look at verse 33 now. John 12, 33. So that it's clear to you. This he said, the lifting up. If I be lifted up, this he said signifying what death he should die so the lifting up was a language for death if i be lifted up means if i die i will draw all men to myself not praise him 
If you praise him, he will draw all men. No, not praise him. Not praise him. His resurrection is what has guaranteed the salvation of all men. We are saved by his resurrection. So we preach his resurrection so men can be saved.